yours. Visit our website at collectorarchive.com for grading, preserving, and custom displays of your collectible toys, video games, and sports memorabilia. Hello, Collector Archive Services. My name is Adam, and I'm coming with you with a bit of an unboxing video. I just got a package from CAS uh, with a piece that I'm super excited about. Uh, as you kind of see in front of me, I have a, a Star Wars collection with a focus on this little droid R5-D4. Uh, these are a couple of pieces I've had graded from CAS before. Uh, some pretty cool pieces. This is the Red Bar R5 with a nice uh, 80 plus grade on there. I have a, uh, a baggie. Um, with a uh, 85 grade um, and then this is actually a really special piece it looks like just a regular uh, card but it's actually a 20 back Canadian card a pretty rare piece uh, when I actually bought this the bubble was a little partially uh, can't, you know, partially ripped off the card but it was not fully uh, detached unfortunately when the seller sent it to me no type of packing, no type of protection. The bubble came totally off the card, a bit deflated. Uh, but I sent this into CS and what you can see they did was they put a bubble protector pretty much around the bubble. So it's almost resealing it back as if it were still uh, attached to the bubble. So I could really display it just like a regular uh, mint on card. Uh, pretty cool. I'm really, was really excited to get this card, even if it did have a detached bubble. But the piece that's in here, is one that I'm super excited about. Uh, I've been trying to get this piece for quite a long time. Not an easy one to get, but it came in here. It's a little small little box, it has a little CAS box. If you open it up, this is what's called a Turkish Uze. Uh, it's actually a bootleg uh, from the 80s, so in Turkey they didn't have regular um, Star Wars figures, they didn't have any type of license to do it, so they made their own. And you can see it looks a little different um, than the original. Yeah, not bad. Some of them look very different. Uh, this one's pretty close, but this is one that is, I, I never really thought I'd have it. Um, still would love one on the card. Don't think that will ever happen, but I'm super excited. This got a 75 plus grade, which again, for a piece like this, that's hard to find. I was super excited with that type of grade. And also what you'll notice is, instead of coming just with a statement of archival, it actually comes with a much bigger certificate of authenticity, uh, just because of the nature of the item. Yeah, no, it's a little bit more expensive, but it comes with the whole big COA um, as well. So it's I'm very excited to have you know to add this to my collection of some kind of loose graded R5D4s uh, piece that is like I said I've been after for a while and really happy to get. So thank you CAS very much. Mm -hmm.